here's my update. Sorry it's taken so long, guys. I can't believe it's been so long. I've really enjoyed answering everybody's questions. It's been a lot of fun listening to what some of the young collectors have to say. Chatting with you guys on my level and way above my level. Some of you gold collectors, wow. What can I say? Puts me to shame. So anyway, here's my junk silver bunch that started putting in flips are a little nicer. These are all 64 half Kennedys in much better condition. These ones not so much but still 64s. Now this is a set that is for grading or helping you grade. Well, it's to show the grades, but I use it to help me grade. And it slowly goes through each of them. This way you can use your magnifying glass, look at it right there in hand and see what the differences are in the grades because there sure is a lot and if you don't know it you can miss a big great deal and I've got for the Walking Liberty halves Washington quarters I also have it for the Barber dimes quarters and half dollars but I don't have the Barbers to put in it this is US type set for half dollars, missing the barber. Nice little capital plastic sets. Here's my proof sets I've got from 57 all the way through. The last one there is 64. Starting back here, over here with 65. Six, seven, as you can see, all the way to seventy-two. Nice, cheap, cheap pickup. Silver so low, I've been just grabbing it up. This is only part of what I've bought. The rest of it's in bigger silver. So here's a five ounce. Glacier. It's a nice coin. It's pretty cool. And this is really nice. The commemoratives I don't normally get into. This one is 1926 Oregon, but they made a mistake. It's actually from San Francisco Mint. Mint marks right. See it, it's right in between half and his foot. Anyway, I think this is a much nicer grade than what they gave this coin. This one's pretty clean, so I'm hoping they really made a mistake and that coin didn't belong with that grade. Here's some um, Silver Eagles, another thing I don't normally buy, but the price has been so darn good. These ones are already German circulated from NGC. There's another thing I don't do. This is a quarter ounce gold cooper end. Then we have a bunch more silver eagle. Well, not a bunch more. A couple more silver eagles. Some Morgans. A couple pieces. They should all be new. There might be one or two that got stuck in there by accident, but the rest of them should all be new not videotaped before um, some of my coins that are in these sets here you might have seen but not the proof sets or any of the or anything else so here's a folder with walking liberties there's one with Kennedy's but the uh, 64 is right here here's 65 so a few clads 
there, but really good condition. That's why I kept them. Some Franklins. Here's some early quarters, Washington quarters. It's from the 30s and the 40s. This one's from the 60s, 64, it's like right there, so. Hey, get down. My cat wanted to take over on showing you guys these coins, I guess. Here's some Mercury Dimes. Not too many in this album until you get to the last. And this one has a couple more. On the last page. Some of them really nice condition, but most of them just fair. And some more Roosevelt's. You can always use more Roosevelt's. So that's what I've been doing. You can see that uh, I've been busy. I have a couple nickel albums here too. There's an old nickel album and here's a newer one. It's not silver, so I was pulling them out. So. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed, and uh, sorry it took me so long. Hopefully I have some more for you here really soon, and uh, please feel free to ask any questions. There are no dumb questions. If you want to learn, that's how you learn. So please feel free to ask me anything on points, and uh, any comments are welcomed. Thank you very much.